So in this video, I show how easy it is to open a Lenovo ThinkPad T570 in less than 10 minutes. It's very easy if you follow these steps. So keep watching. So we only require two tools for this operation, a flat screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. Um, it's optional if you have an anti-static uh, wrist strap as well. Uh, that should help in discharging any electrostatic uh, energy to any of the components as well. If not, you could simply ground yourself by touching any metallic part of the laptop casing whilst your feet or some parts of your body makes contact with the ground. Uh, we flip the laptop or turn the laptop over and uh, proceed to taking the battery out now this can be achieved by uh, sliding two latches on the opposite sides of the battery and the battery easily comes off so we then proceed to uh, loosening the screws at the back of the laptop the seven screws in total and um, for this, we use the small Phillips screwdriver to loosen the screws. So once the screws are loose, we then need to pry open the laptop with a flat screwdriver. Now it also helps if, uh, as you can see, uh, you have long fingernails. small caution here uh, just take note that all four sides of the back panel um, is held together by plastic clips so please be gentle So the back panel should easily come off now. Let's just have a quick walkthrough. Um, so there's a second internal battery with this model. If it wasn't for the sole purpose of demonstration, um, that would also have to be disconnected to prevent any uh, discharge of energy to the motherboard. Um, again, we could just quickly um, see the memory module there. Uh, that's the cooling fan and uh, you know you can see the CMOS battery down there and the wireless adapter as well so I uh, go straight to the tab that holds the SSD 
um, that could obviously uh, be released by pulling the tab upwards uh, you turn it over to expose the connector to the motherboard um, once that's done you then need to lift the flip upwards with your finger or pry to uh, and it then releases the cable from the SSD so um, at this point you losing two screws uh, that holds a metal plate essentially that just protects the SSD um, once that's loose uh, we then have access to the SSD and then we could simply just replace the SSD so as you can see the metal plate easily comes off and then uh, the SSD is now exposed so then you lose in that single screw and then you could put in the replacement solid state drive After replacement, follow the same process to put the case back into the slot. sign of approval thumbs up we all good to uh, to put the back panel together to fit the back panel back to the laptop start with a side opposite to where the battery goes and gently press it down to hear clicks which uh, should suggest that the sides are fully secured now you do the same for all four sides and pay attention to the clicks Once satisfied that all the back panel is fully secured on all sides uh, with no gaps or misalignment, uh, please secure uh, the back panel by tightening the seven screws with the Phillips screwdriver. Visually check all sides uh, to be sure that uh, the back panel is uh, secured tight. Now slide back the battery till both latches click. And there you go. 
all done in 10 minutes. So as you can see from this close-up shot, all four sides are secured tightly and it's all neatly aligned. So as you could see, the laptop is now powered back on. And again, uh, all these steps should be easy to follow. But if you need further explanation, please drop me a comment. Um, again, please do me a big, big favor and smash that like button. Comment and subscribe for more of such videos. Peace out.